Hey YouTube, it's your girl Lily. Hey. Um, what is the day? A busy one. It's Friday, August the 25th, 2017. So, um, for everyone who's new, please subscribe to my video, like my videos, watch my videos to see what's going on. Um, I guess a little recap, I am 24 years old, I'll be 25 next month. Um, and I am in the debt program for the United States Army, um, waiting to ship off to, um, do my military training. Um, my MOS is 11 x-ray, which is infantry recruit, and that's about all I'm going to give as far as information goes. I think, um, no, I know once I'm finished with training and I'm able to get on my phone more I'm gonna of course tell you where I'm stationed and tell you the exact date I you know left and even if you guys can figure that out on your own I just don't feel comfortable saying all that on YouTube yet I want to wait until I've actually finished everything then I'll go ahead and disclose all that other information I have a real exit right there and right here just trying not to look at it oh well, now you're probably gonna stare at it even more um so I'm just making a video just got back from the gym. I'll probably upload a little a little insert at the end of this video. So just, um, yeah. I was talking to my recruiter and I was asking him about the Sniper, Ranger, Airborne. Um, I don't know if they're called programs, whatever you call it. Um, about what each of those are and how you can go about doing so. And I really wanted to do Sniper. I want to go to the Sniper schooling for infantry because, I mean, that is just looks good cool sounds cool it is cool but for ranger and sniper um, the qualifications are a bit tougher and um, so I decided I probably wasn't gonna get a swing at that but airborne <laughs> I think um, I'm gonna try to do airborne um, which is funny because I made fun of everybody in the recruiting station who was airborne because I was like, why would you jump out of a perfectly good working plane? But that'll be a whole new experience and I mean, shoot, that's pretty badass. So I asked him how I could go about doing that and he said during um, training, boot camp, OSIT, you guys know what OSET is. If you guys, I'm probably giving it away, but basically for me, it's OSET. I'm going to OSET. So, um, they'll ask for volunteers for the Airborne, and there are some qualifications, but it's not as demanding as the Air, I mean, as a Ranger or Sniper. Um, so I will be volunteering if that happens that way. If they say, hey, I need volunteers for Airborne, my hands are going to be raised really high. Hopefully they pick me. He did explain that the airborne, like the PT requirement for that is a little bit tougher than just, you know, the regular going through training. So, again, the only thing I'm worried about is PT. I think I pick up well on um, directions and demands. I am not, I don't really break under pressure. It's just that PT part of it. So, I heard it's even harder. Um, they'll send you to, like, after your... You're, um, you're done. I, I have to ask more about it. I think I need to set up an appointment with my recruiter sometime next week so I can, like, get more details. I kind of was talking to him over the phone about it as he was checking in on me because I can't really do the debt program or the, you know, they have, um, where I'm at on Tuesdays and Thursdays, they have, like, like, PT for the, you know, delayed entry program, the recruits, but my class is starts 30 minutes after that starts so it's like no way I can make it and I can't really afford to be missing classes but so I really just check up over the phone um and I was kind of just kind of asking him because I was thinking about it so I'm gonna get more information on that and then like let you guys know if that's something I'll decide to do and I probably won't know if I want to do that until I get there and see what my nerves are looking like but I'm just I'm still really excited about my MOS I can't wait like I was actually at Jamba Juice today getting a protein you know, a little protein small drink um and you know the cash the lady at the cashier saw my shirt and she said you know are you in I said I'm leaving and I told her when I was leaving and she said that she 
um, was leaving, or she was leaving in November, and that we ended up finding out that we both go to the same recruiting station. I asked her who, who her recruiter was. She asked me who mine was. We both you know, we know each other's recruiters. She was like, I haven't seen you at any of the depth, you know, meetings. And I was like, yeah, because I have classes at the time. So um, maybe I'll miss a couple of, no, not a couple. Maybe one day I'll miss a class for it, but I'd much rather stay in my classes. Um, like I said, I've been going to the gym. I have um, a fitness class at school, PE twice a week for an hour and 20 minutes, I think. or No, 15. An hour and 20 minutes long, but I'm doing what I need to do, giving it my all. I kind of just want to touch base and let you guys know that I was thinking about doing airborne. I will be going to my recruiter next week and I will be asking him more in detail um, how that looks, where would I go for training, like how does it really work. For right now, all I know is he said that they'll ask for volunteers during boot camp. Or not boot camp, for me it's OSED, but same difference you guys. Like where I'm training, as I'll say, you know, who wants to do it and the volunteers. And you volunteer for that. So I'm going to volunteer and hopefully I'll volunteer. And if I do volunteer, hopefully I pass, you know, everything I need to pass. But I'm just kind of checking in with you guys. I don't want to be one of those YouTubers that, like, don't make videos for, like, several months or weeks. I want to keep checking in on you guys and let you guys know where I'm at. So not really much have changed. Just working my ass off. Getting prepared for the army. Um, I love you guys. Please subscribe. Everyone else who just clicked on this video, um, go ahead and just look at my other videos. They're not long at all. I have a couple that are like 14 minutes, maybe two, but the rest are fairly, you know, decent, you know, uh, recording time so you won't spend too much time staring at them. But go ahead and check out my journey and where I've, where I've started at from where I am now. It's amazing. It's a good thing. And thank you for everyone who subscribed. I'm at 68 subscribers. That means, like I said in the last video, um, or a couple videos ago, that means a lot to me. Um, I just can't wait till I'm officially in. I have a blue cord or blue rope, whatever they call it. You put on, you know, your uniform. And then I can get down to business and talk about the real deal because I actually would have went through everything. So um, those are come, those are to come. And I mean, hello, a woman in infantry. Subscribe. I'm gonna tell you how that how that's gonna go. I have no plans at all of um, backing out of my my MOS. I have n at no point. My recruiter told me that somebody had did that. They had seven weeks left until boot camp, and they backed out and picked a different MLS. I have a female. I have no plans of doing that. Like I said, I pass. If I pass, you know, and I, you know, and I, I get through. That's fucking amazing. Um, and if I don't, like I said, at least I gave it my all. I'm not going to give up. So I love you guys and I'll see you guys later. Bye.